far away. Sharp review over on the right of the picture with Hamas uh, tracking him. Mystico's right up there in the early stages and Hamas just has the advantage now. The pacemaker for Lahib, it's Hamas from Mystico, then sharp review. Brief truce on the outside. Lahib comes next and then all at sea. The back markers at the moment are Marling second set and Selkirk and it's Hamas making it and making it a good gallop too. Hamas as they race now towards the six furlong marker. Hamas the leader by about three from Mystico. Behind Mystico is Lahib. Behind Lahib is Sharp Review and then comes All at Sea. Brief truce on the outside of Selkirk and then second set and Marling and they're racing already towards the home turn passing the half mile m marker and as they do so it's Hamas in the lead from Mystico in second and Lahib third travelling well in fourth is All at Sea then comes on the inside second set. Behind second set is Brief truce then Marling on the inside then Selkirk and finally Sharp Review is dropping right out of it and Moving over towards the centre of the course, the pacemaker Hamas and letting Lahib come through to take it up as they come to the furlong pole. Lahib is now the leader from all at sea. Here comes Brief Truce under McKinnon towards the stand side and Selkirk also improving just behind him. It's Lahib the leader from Brief Truce now as they race to the furlong pole. Lahib from Brief Truce and all at sea. Selkirk is not going to make it. It's Lahib the leader from Brief Truce as they race up towards the line. Selkirk is finishing well, but Lahib is going to hold them all. And at the line, Lahib has won it from Brief Truth. Second, Selkirk third. Four was all at sea. Five seconds set. Six, Mystico. Seven, Marling. Eight, Sharp Review. And nine, Hamas. And so the result of the 1992 Queen Elizabeth II stakes. First, number one, Lahib, owned by Sheikh Hamdan al Maktoum. Trained by John Dunlop, who last won it in 1977 with Trusted, and ridden by Willie Carson. His seventh winner of the Queen Elizabeth II stakes in the last 21 years. Second was number six, Brief Truce for Ireland, owned by Moyglar Stud Farms Limited, trained by Dermot Weld and ridden by Mick Kinnan. And third was number four, Selkirk, owned by Mr. George Strawbridge, trained by Ian Balding and ridden by John Reed. Fourth was number nine, All at Sea. Well, a great tactical triumph for the Sheikh Hamdan team with Lahib taking it up early in the straight and making the best of his way home. But looking behind, not a lot of room for the other protagonist. All at sea there, well, she's possibly got every chance. Look at Marling trying to pull out there. Walter doesn't get the split. Look to the noseband of Selkirk. He gets first run and puts Marling in trouble. But now, just when he wants to come through between All at Sea and Brief Truce, then the gap closes on John Reed, and he's got to pull round Brief Truce. Here, the gap closes, and from now on, Selkirk's facing an impossible task. Lahib up front makes the best of his way home. Brief Truce on the outside. Selkirk's got too much to do now. Yes, Willie had opened the door and gone before any of the others could do anything about it. As you say, the first one to suffer, in fact, was the filly, Marlin, and she had no chance at all from about the two and a half. Willie Carston now rolls for home. Selkirk's had a lot to do to try and cut them back. He couldn't. The other, Brief Truce, in fact, didn't have the best of runs either. The only one with a run in the race is the winner, Lahi. Well, it's no surprise to hear that there is a steward's inquiry that you can... Looks like the last 